What's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here, back with a new short movie. The name of the short movie is What if Naruto was a robot and yeah guys, it is an unscripted movie as well. Now before continuing this, yeah guys, it is my own idea and aside from that, yeah, the reason I'm making a short movie is because I have two assignments that I need to complete. So yeah, I'm quite short on time and plus I have to make a video for you guys. So hope you enjoy it and if you do then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and I promise tomorrow will be a movie. Okay, and I have picked out an idea, but I'm still wondering about it. I'm gonna tell you the idea, guys, because let me know, okay? What if Naruto was a girl, okay, or turned into a girl? Because some of you guys have been requesting me a lot in the comment section, and I just wanted to ask you guys, what do you think? Okay, now, since that is out of the way, let's begin with our today's story. Roll the intro. <laughs> story begins five months before the QB attack in Konoha Gakuru Nusato. As we go towards the Hokage office, as we see that a private meeting was being held between three people. Here is Nusaratobi, the previous Hokage, the current Hokage, Minato Namikaze, and an amputated Shinobi who was, whose leg was amputated due to the last war that has happened, and Minato's close friend. As he has come up with ideas that could help disabled person to walk again as well as boost up the shinobi work into the forces and power as well. As after reviewing the idea, both of the Kages looked at the man. As Minato then said, I'm sorry, but uh, Apollo, this is quite dangerous. We cannot do this. But Minato, you have to. Try at least. I mean, I, 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 I volunteer myself for the test subject. If anything goes wrong, it'll be on on me. And that is why, my friend, I'm saying that this is a no for me. Because this is not only something that hasn't been done ever before. This is quite dangerous. You could literally lose more limbs as it is now. Your half leg is amputated, Apollo. Do you want the rest of your leg and your arms to be amputated as well? I, I rather try Minato because this can help me out. I know. With what? Metal arms, Apollo? Be genuine. I thought that you were more smarter than Minato. And I was gonna choose you. You didn't because I was amputated and hurt. And you know why. Your services were more grateful and helpful in the shinobi world. Because if it wasn't for you, we would have lost 500 shinobis. I know. You made a great sacrifice. But this is what you're asking for. It's way too much. I'm not asking for much. I'm only asking for a chance. A chance to prove that I can be a shinobi again. And that is why I am worried because you lay down your life way too easy, my friend. For any shinobi, you were prepared, and I don't want to lose you. The only thing that was close to a brother since the orphanage with me. As Apollo remained quiet, fine. I will, I will not, you know, try this. As after grabbing the material, he left. As after leaving, the door shut closed as both of them sighed. I don't know what has happened to him after the war. Since his leg got cut off, he's been, I know, any person would. And he's just trying to find ways to get back into the shinobi forces. Even though he knows that, it is impossible. Your shinobi career ends as soon as one of your limb is off of your body, completely. Maybe there is a way. What if it is right? He says that he studied Tsunade Sama's theory of neurology and has mixed this with this scientific metal, metal chakra stuff that he calls a cybernetic part, Minato. I know. And it is never done before or heard before. It could be dangerous, and that is why I said no. Regardless, you must focus and try to forget and help him out as well. As time began to pass by, as Apollo's visit became less and less and less until he completely disappeared. As five months have passed, as Minato had a great news to tell to his friends. As he announced this in a party at his house, but Apollo wasn't there. As he sighed, in the night time after the party ended, there was a knock on the door. And when the door was opened by Minato, it was him standing there. Hey, uh, Minato. Sorry I came in late. I was uh, working on something. As after coming inside, he gave the gift to Minato as both of them now sat down on the table. As Kushina was also down there as she brewed some green tea for them. Uh, thanks, Kushina. Nothing to worry about. Since, well, you said you were working. Can you tell me what you were working on? Um, 
I'll show you. As he then brought out an object which was tied up completely into paper as he put it on the ground. And after that, he inserted his amputated leg inside of it as the thing connected to his leg as he stood up without any support. See? I told you I can do this, Minato. Apollo, this is... This is great. I told you this would work. Listen to me, my friend. After the birth of my children, I will make sure that this is enlisted. And after complete testing and everything is done, we will make it public. For those who are hurt and want to be normal again, they can. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. As after that, they stayed and chatted for a while. After that, Apollo left. Until October 10th arrived. The day was quite catastrophic. And you can say that. The next day, Apollo was there. As he said. But Minota wasn't. As his funeral was being held. As near him stood none other than Hiruzen Sarutobi. As in his hand was a child. As, not, as Apollo looked at him. So, this was the only kid that was able to survive? Yes, and before you ask to raise him, I'm sorry you can't. What? Why? Minato asked him to be placed into the orphanage because he didn't want his enemies to find out. Since they know your and his connection as brothers, if you raise this kid, there is a high chance that your enemies, if not his, will try to get to him to get to you. Oh, I, I see. I'm sorry, I tried to fight them, but they wouldn't listen. It was bound to happen. I told you that the civilian council are growing corrupt by the day. I see it with my own eyes. Hokage-sama. As after that, Apollo left, saying those words as tears fell down his eyes because his brother and his wife have died alongside his nephew and niece, or which was about to be nephew and niece, and he cannot raise his only living relative now, or close to a person called relative. As time began to pass after that, as Apollo has become a drunken man, disregarding his projects completely, even though for a full human body scale he had made all sorts of parts. And after some time, everything was prepared. But he has disregarded it. He hasn't visited that lab. Only for a bit though, sometimes when his biomechanical foot wasn't working properly. And he has been trying to avoid Naruto at best. And that is until five years later, on October 10th, he decided after must, mustering up his courage the best he could, he would go towards the orphanage in which he knew Naruto would be. As he was walking there, he heard a commotion in an alleyway as he stopped and went inside. As he looked around the people that were gathered there, what are you guys looking at? Oh, hey, it's Apollo. How are you doing? Uh, fine. But what is going on here? Oh, nothing. We're just torturing the demon. As Apollo felt a sickening feeling rising in his stomach. What do you mean, torturing the demon? Oh, he's, don't be silly, Apollo son. Look at this. We got the kid. Or you can say demon in the skin of a kid. He thinks he can fool us. All with that, oh, emotional trauma and all that stuff. Oh my god, what have you done? What do you mean? What does it look like? We teach it a lesson. You tore off his limbs? Is this what you call teaching a lesson? He's bleeding. I have to get him somewhere safe. As after that, Bolo went inside. Get away from him. Oh no, you're not gonna go anywhere, demon lover. If you love this demon so much, die with it. So this is how it is, huh? As after that, a Rasengan was made in both hands. I may have lost a leg, but I'm still a shinobi. As after that, when two, sh two of the civilians died, the sh all civilian people retreated, knowing fully well that even though an amputated shinobi is still a shinobi, with all of its chakra still there. As after that, he looked towards Naruto with wide eyes. Oh no, I cannot let him die. As without thinking a bit, he grabbed Naruto as he began to walk as fast as he could all the way back to his apartment and went straight to the lab. As after arriving there, he knew he what he had to do. I'm sorry, Naruto. This may hurt a lot, but this is for your own good. As after that, months passed, as Apollo wasn't ever heard from the people, and two civilians' dead bodies were discovered three days after the, of the incident, and the killer was still being looked out. Even though the shinobis knew who the killer might be, they were never to point out. 
and so did the Kage. He was just waiting for Apollo to come out because they knew this shinobi wouldn't kill without any reason. And he was regarded with high respect even in the Anbu ranks because of his sacrifice that he has made in the war. As after 8 months, Hiruzen had enough as he went towards his apartment and there was a huge amount of knocking as finally Hiruzen had enough as he went inside the apartment. After locking the door, after breaking in, he went towards everywhere inside the house until he heard footsteps coming from the downstairs. Okage-sama, what are you doing here? It's been a long time, Apollo, since I last saw you. And there have been two bodies found, and the marking on them indicate that there was a usage of Rosengan. Since Minato is gone, there is only one person, aside from him, that can use it, which was you. I see. So, am I charged with murder or something? Of protecting Naruto? What do you mean, Naruto? Naruto was literally amputated by them. What? Yes. All of his limbs were cut off. I... Come, just come downstairs. I tried to save him, the best I can. But the only thing that I was able to achieve in all these months was this. As they're in a huge container filled with chakra liquid with healing portions, they saw Naruto's floating body. As huge amount of metal objects and cybernetic parts were attached to it. Oh my god, there's so little of him left. <sighs> this is the thing that I could do. I tried to save him, but his lungs were punctured, so I had to re replace them with cybernetic ones. And everything at all was just replaced. You saved him? Yes, but at the cost of his own body. What happened? When I arrived there, there was a mob gathered there. And they were, well, making quite a fuss. When I asked what was going on, they said they were torturing the demon. So it has continued again. Again? Naruto has been beaten by them, but to this date, never before. It was good that you were there. And Minato told me before he died, the day he died, that you were able to successfully, you know, use the cybernetic part on your body. And I was thinking that you might be able to help the other people out. There are a lot of people that who have volunteered for this. So the plan was in action? Yes. Well, I have used all of the parts and the funding that I have received from Minato at the time, and even my own personal funds, but yeah, I guess Naruto is safe. But why isn't he awakened yet? That is something that he has to do on his own will. Until then, he has to recover and sleep. But what about his shinobi training and all that? You know that within a few months, the academy will begin. He is not to go to academy, Okagesama. Naruto is different. He will learn from me. Hi, I guess that works out best of all. So we're gonna take him under your tutor gauge? Yes, all the way until he's ready to become a cannon. Alright, until then, the project, as you call it, is on hold. You know, Hokage-sama, I think it is better to stop this project at all. What do you mean? You were the one who pushed for it, Apollo. And why do you want it to be stopped now? I thought that you will be happy. And there are a lot of people who are talking about it, about the limbs that they can receive and have a normal life. Look at him. Is this, is this what your family would have wanted from you? To be honest, no. What happened to him was just too much. And that is why I don't want to help those people. Because those people are sickening and they cannot see past their hatred. And that is why I will not share my research with them. I apologize, Hokage-sama. But I wish you can respect that. The council doesn't know about this, but okay. I will keep it a secret. Hi. And I will move out with Naruto from here. Where? To the North Forest. Nobody goes there. And it has a pond nearby where we can fish and Naruto can train peacefully. I will divert the shinobis from there and put an Anbu squad there so that you can be guarded. Alright. But be please let it be Kakashi and his squad. Because I know that he will do his job properly. Hmm. You're asking for much, Apollo. He's the strongest Anbu team that I have at the time. And if he's not on the missions, please, those are the people that I'm requesting because I know that they will do the job with the heart and not with the job in mind only. Okay, it is done then. As after that, everything was moved and Naruto was still in container. As after moving there, time began to pass. And after four more months, Naruto finally opened his eyes. As his eyes were now completely glowing blue. As... He, from the other side of the glass, saw a man standing in front of him, with black hair 
and black eyes and tan skin. So finally awake, huh? It's nice to meet you, Naruto. I am your... I'm your uncle, you can say. Uncle Apollo. As after that, unknown to him, Naruto was monitoring everything. His eye sensors were way too advanced. Apollo didn't know how much of high-tech things that he was building and would have put up inside Naruto. Because he was at the time quite rushing and trying to save his best for Naruto. As after some time, Naruto was able to finally get out of the container. As he took huge steps, what is wrong with me? He said in a gravelly voice. Your voice module. What, what do you mean, voice module? As Apollo sighed, as he brought a mirror in front of Naruto. This is harsh, Naruto, I know, but it is for your own good. I don't want to betray you or sugarcoat stuff. I will give you the reality of what has happened and what have you become. There is nothing left. There is nothing, oh my god. What, what have you done to me? I saved you, Naruto. This, is this what you call saving? Or rather, don't. Don't you dare say that. I have lost enough already. And for what? For you to be tortured? I'm not gonna let you go back there, Naruto. I'm sorry I was late. I was... For what? You was what? Tell me! I was a coward. I didn't want to face you. I wasn't allowed to raise you, and... I... I turned my back away. I promised Minerva if anything happens to him, I will look after you, but I wasn't given the opportunity, and I turned my back away. I didn't fight for you at the time, because I was going through way too much. No, I don't ask for your forgiveness, because I know that it will be cowardly and selfish of me to ask from you that, after doing what has to be done to you. But what can I give you now is that a home as well as a place to train and learn about your new body. So take my hand if you agree, Naruto. As Naruto, after thinking a bit, looked at the man's eyes as he took the hand. I'm trusting in you, Apollo-san. Good. As after that, now we have a huge time skip. Time skip off all the way until Naruto reached the age of 13. His cybernetic body, all thanks to his connected to his spine, was growing as he was usually, or his normal body would have. As we see in the woods, a person or something dashing at blinding speeds and leaving grazed and splinters everywhere where he has set foot. As the Anbu squad were watching this, he uses still too much force into his footwork, leaving a huge amount of grazes and marks on the trees. As Naruto landed, as a huge crack on the ground was formed, as well as grass. Hmm, impressive, said Hiruzen Sarutobi. As in front of him now stood Naruto, at the age of 13 and at the height of 4.8. Who could consider a highest height for a 13-year-old? As his blue eyes gazed towards the Hokage as his face plates moved from the covering to his normal face. So what do you think, GD? It's quite nice, Naruto-kun. You have learned a lot. As after that, Apollo came out. Well, Naruto, everything is done. Your test is complete and now you can go and perform the test. As Hiruzen then said, Okay, Naruto, I want you to make a Rasengan. As Naruto, after doing the basic hand seals within his eye sensors, did the Rasengan. After using the perfect amount of chakra, a perfect Rasengan here. As the Rasengan was inside Naruto's hand before it disappeared altogether, as the chakra refiltered itself into the limb and returned back to his chakra pool. Good. Now, Naruto, you are to go to the academy. And become a Ganon. It is time that public and the people know about your existence. As Naruto flinched, don't you think that um, this is um, way too much or way too soon? Said Naruto. No. This is what you are, Naruto. Please, you have to learn about that. You're no different than them. You're still a human, here. Even if all these modifications have been done. Plus, you can use your hologram that you have built yourself. Oh, yeah, I can. As this conversation was going on, Hiruzen, who was smiling, suddenly heard an Anbu land by and something whispered into his ear as his smile dropped and there was a shock for a brief moment on his face before it turned into rage. Apollo, you have to come with me. Naruto, as you are informed, go to the academy with your hologram on. W what is going on, Hokage-sama? 
there is of great importance and some of the acquaintance have finally returned from the dead. As his eyes widened, could it be? As Hokage nodded and Apollo was shocked at this as well as felt betrayed. Okay, Naruto, uh, we have something that needs our assistance as of now. You have to go there, okay? Um, Kakashi, can you... You don't need to worry about anything, Apollo-san. I will do this on my own. As after that, Kakashi and Naruto disappeared as... Nar Apollo then asked... Hiruzen, are they crazy? What were they thinking? Appearing out of nowhere all of a sudden. Relax. We still don't know that if they are who we think they are. They might be... They better be those who you are thinking. If they are real, I'm gonna kill them myself. Not before we get answers. And I want you to continue your anger as much as possible. Fine. Let's go. As after that, both of them we see arriving at the Hokage office, only to find Minato Namikaze, Kushina Uzumaki, Mito Uzumaki Namikaze, as well as Menma Uzumaki Namikaze. Their children there as well. What the hell were you thinking? Appearing out of nowhere. Uh, well, didn't you find my note? What note? Huh, could have sworn I left one. Do you think this is a joke, Minato? You even thought for a moment what would happen to Naruto. Naruto? Pff, yeah, right. You people probably spoiled him. Spoiled him? Said Hiruzen, as he too was disgusted by the way Minato was acting. What the hell is wrong with you, Minato? Are you drunk or something? Relax, Apollo. He's not drunk. Sensei? S said Apollo as he looked at Jiraiya. You, you knew? Obviously I knew. So that is why you weren't there in the funeral. Obviously, what do you else think? I thought that you were sad and mourning on your own. So you really believed that Minato was dead? We all thought you were dead because we saw your fucking dead bodies out there, said Hiruzen with rage. As Sonata and everyone else was shocked who was now revealed there as well. As Sonata said, okay kids, we're gonna leave for now. Let the older people talk. I'll show you the academy. As Jiraiya's sensei, calm down. What happened? We were sure to leave a note. We didn't find any note, sensei. We thought that you, they were all dead. I buried them with my own hands. And so did... As Apollo was enraged. As he looked at his sensei. You knew. How could you do this? D did you not think about Naruto? Naruto wasn't... Enough, Apollo. It is best if they find out by themselves. Let us go. And Minato, where's your hat? Apollo, wait, said Jiraiya. I'm done, Sensei. You lied to me. You... You never trusted me, did you? As after that, Minato got serious and said, No, 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 that is not right. I do. I still think of you as a brother. You are my brother. And you did this to me. Made me think that you were dead. I promise I left a note. Where? We didn't find anything. As after that, both Hiruzen and Apollo left. As Minato and Jiraiya were left to their own devices alongside Kushina who didn't speak. As Sunade, we go towards her as she has arrived. Right some time later as Naruto has. As he was completely covering himself with the hood as was mentioned by the Hokage. As his sensors for some reason weren't working today. As... We heard a knock as he woke up on the door. Ah, oh, Sonata-sama? Uh, come in, please. As the class was quite surprised and hyped to see that. As Naruto began to, with his sensors, identify who they were. And after matching the DNA, it was suggested that this person was Sonata Senju. And after matching the two kids that were there, their DNA matched to Minato Namikaze and Kushina Uzumaki, his dead parents. What? I had siblings? And how are they? As Naruto stood up. As his eyes began to scan, um, Naruto, do you have to say something? Ah, so you're Naruto. As Naruto's hood fell off because of his anger that was filling inside. How are you alive? As everyone guessed, seeing that because of the sensor falling down. Naruto was wearing clothes as his metal face was showing, which was still humanoid to some extent. How are you alive? I ask. His dark hollow eyes, which were lit up blue from the irises, asked. What happened to you? As Naruto asked this again, I ask you again, how is this possible? As that is when Hiruzen arrived. Naruto, my boy, I know something that you think is not right. 
not right. They are my dad's siblings, who you said are dead, and you and I visited their graves. How is this possible? As everyone else was scared to see Naruto like this, because this was the first day that he, he was introduced to them. Although he was a bit mysterious, they were quite shocked to see his real face. Albeit being humanish, he was still quite scary, especially his eyes, which were quite black, and blue irises, which shone. And suddenly, a bull arrived. Sensei, you, we still found, we found out today as well. Come with me. We're gonna go to see your family. You too as well. And Iruka, uh, yes, Apollo-sama. Son is fine. You can continue with your class. I'll test them myself and see that if they're worthy of the Ganon rank or not. Uh, okay. As after that, the siblings, Sonari, as well as Naruto left. As Sonari then asked Apollo, what happened to him? You will be informed, Sonari-sama. Well, come on, you know, kid, that you were quite eased up about me. I'm fine, thank you. And it will be quite a pleasure if you stayed quite far away from me. Nar Apollo said with a disgust on his face, as Naruto was quite shocked by this. As he sighed and finally arrived. As Naruto was standing in front of them, as Kushina and Minato were shocked seeing Naruto like this. Naruto, take off your jacket. As Naruto then looked at his parents. First, I need answers. You will get them, kid. I promise you. Just take off your jacket. As after taking off his jacket, everyone was shocked. What have you done to him? I did? He did. He saved me. Those people did this to me. They cut off my limbs. When I was only five. As his sibling gasped and so did his mother. Oh, you poor soul, you. Stay away from me, lady. You're not my mother. I thought you were dead. I cried in my sleep, thinking that you were there comforting me. And this is the kind of repayment that I get? For all the hardships that I endured, you just returning with these kids, saying that I wasn't important enough? To hell with you all. I don't want your name then. I will be Naruto then. Son of Apollo. I'll be on my way. Thank you very much, Hokage-sama. As Apollo then surveyed Naruto, I'll be home, Dad. If anything happens, tell me, let me know. As Minato then said, looking towards Naruto's retreating form, who was disappearing away, then looked at Apollo. If it is Naruto, what have you done, Apollo? He told me this technology would save people, not destroy families. Destroy families is something that you have done, Minato, not I. I saved him because these people I told you again and again have tortured him. I killed th those two of the bastards. And can identify and handpick all of them if you want me to. As after that, he was begin to tell what has happened and transpired. As both of the parents were now regretting. So you... You did this to save him? What do you else think, Sensei? I'm not a coward who will leave anyone behind. I saved those people back then because I wanted to save them. I saved Nardo because I wanted to save him. I will not leave anyone from this village behind. I vowed to protect all of them, even against my wishes, and myself, and my life, without a care, because that was my duty, since the day I put that headband on my forehead. But it seems to some people that wasn't the case. I'm done here. I'll be going home. You're not going anywhere. You are to return my son back to me. Go and ask him if he wants to. Don't call him your son. You don't get to call him your son after what all he has been through. And what have you been doing all this time? As both of them remained quiet and looked down. This is not over, Apollo. I'm gonna drag you to dirt. Go ahead. What more else you can do now? Sully my name? I don't give a fuck what these people think about me. I'd rather be called a murderer or something of a sociopath than what you are. A deserter. Kin deserter, that is what you are, Minato. The most degradeful, even one amongst the orphanage. And Kushina, you were of the Uzumakis. You told us that for Uzumakis families are above everything. And this is what you call above everything? Okay, enough, Apollo. Leave them be. They have gotten their answers, and hopefully you too as well. Let us go. Now art is of more importance now. As now we go towards Naruto, as he was running and running away, as fast as he could, until he heard a voice. Kid, why don't you destroy them? They have 
betrayed you all, and to some extent your even father that you claim to be has. What are you trying to say? And who even are you? As the voice it was identified as Kubino Yoko. So you exist in me. That is why they call me a demon. My soul exists. Those two pricks that you call sibling have my chakra. And I want that back. Then you will have to go where my dead body. <laughs> Let's be honest here, kid. You're already dead. You're nothing more of a abomination that exists. That your so-called father created in the name of humanity. He saved me by giving me a life. No, he cursed you by giving this you, this look you have. As he looked into the mirror, look at yourself. You're nothing more than a monster. Who would love a face like that? Not even your parents wanted you back. They were scared. Replay their memories in your mind and see it again and again. No, I... As Kyuubi did that for Naruto, as the memories of the shocked faces and the horrified faces of all the civilians, even his own sensei was seen again and again repetitively in his mind, until his blue eyes turned red. What do you suggest? We leave. We wait. We destroy. Get revenge. Fine. I let them know my pain. Where should we go? Leave, kid. Leave to the ruins, your regions. Uzushio Gakure. The only place where nobody will think of looking for you. As after that, Naruto heard a voice. Naruto? He is here. Now is your choice, kid. Either leave or remain here. As Naruto's hand turned into a cannon, as it turned towards Apollo. What are you doing, Naruto? As his eyes were red with slits in them. What are you? As before he could finish, a cannon was fired. A chakra cannon. As a bow was thrown out of the house, as there was a huge lump over there now, as his arm was blown apart into a million bits. Ah, Naruto, wait! It's done. Leave. Don't listen to his words. He's gonna just corrupt you even further. As Naruto disappeared, and that is when Minato and Yuzen arrived there. Oh, oh my God! What happened? Naruto, he deserted. What? Naruto deserted the village. Think what you'd have done, Minato. It's because of you. All because of you. Me? I'm here because I want to mend? After all these years of neglect and the pain he has gone through, you want to mend the relation now? You're too late, buddy. Now leave me alone. You're losing blood. You have to go after him. Kakashi! As Apollo yelled out as Kakashi arrived. Go after Naruto. Drag him down. Please. It's, it'll be done. As after that... Kakashi disappeared alongside his team. Upon was to search out for Naruto. As Apollo was losing blood fast. As after some time, Apollo was unconscious as he was now in the hospital bed. His arm was completely removed as Tsunade came out of the room as he was being shifted to a room now. He is stable now. I still can't believe that... It ended up like this for him. He has too went through a lot. Since the... Second war. But for Naruto to act like this, it must be the QB saw. Finally acting up because of his sorrow and regret. I shouldn't have done this. No, Minato. I should have I should have been the one. To be honest, Uriah, you should be the one to take all this credit because this is your doing. But I thought that I could pick the child of prophecy and be the legend that you always wanted to be. Well, congratulations, Jiraiya. You are the fucking legend that you wanted to be, but in the wrong side of the book. As after that, Ruzen walked away. Sometimes I wondered if Rochima really was my greatest student. And you and your foolishness always remind me that he really was. As after that, Ruzen walked away. As this was a low blow to Jiraiya and Tsunade, as both of them looked down, he... <sighs> he will get around. I know, he will, but what are we gonna do about Naruto? As we go towards Naruto, who has been in hiding now, and was nowhere to be seen. As three years went by after that, and nobody ever knew what happened or where has he went. As even Danzo and the council now heard about this because of the commotion that was caused that day. And they were demanding answers from Apollo. But Apollo has been in a coma since then. And three years later, we see Namigakure, a person inside a room with two blades coming out of his arms. As they were covered in blood. 
as in front of us we see a person with black cloak and red clouds who was covered in blood and cuts as his face mask which was orange with spirals in them was cut in half showing his uchiha eye you are to be exterminated you are the last living member of this organization that is the cancer sucking on this society you think that nobody else will rise in, in our stead people will and you will pay for this you abomination well let let me add them then and i'll show them again and again why i am superior than you shinobis or human art shinobis as the blade went straight through his center cutting him in half and open as he turned around as the blade retracted back into his wrist as he looked everywhere good job kid all of these people are dead now akatsuki can do shit now <laughs> since now the karski is dead only one more threat remains to this world aside from all that we have killed orochimaru hmm <laughs> good kid now you must go and destroy them as after that target was being located by naruto as his chakra signature was found 180000 miles away from this location good you have tracked them down full speed ahead naruto nodded as he blasted into the air and with a sonic boom disappeared into the air as well you see what happened is naruto for the past years have been going on a killing spree killing all those he has deemed as threat rapists and many others garo has been killed and the land of waves was liberated and after that snow country's tyrant was next and so was the blood prisons box and all the secret organizations and after that eva gakure was wiped out from the map and then there was taki gakure now the shinobi world was in quite scare as well but konha knew deep down what it was and it didn't want to reveal to the world that it was the one who released all this madness to the world and after that we go towards rochimaru who was looking for a hunt of this new cybernetic being who he knew was created by one of his well friend student because of kabuto he was able to get the news and some blueprints as well as naruto finally landed so this is where you have been rochimaru well 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 you have finally arrived naruto kun i have been waiting for you you are after all the greatest creation of my son what what do you mean <laughs> apollo is my son and he does not know it because i left him in the orphanage i want him to be raised there and he has proven to me that how much i am proud of him no and yes it is true and you indirectly are my grandson now i heard that you claimed that he is your father instead of your real family that is because he is said nardo even though in his red eyes but did you not attack him even though i still feel hatred for what you have done but i think again that apollo has gone weak and he needs to wake himself up again and realize where he stands what are you talking about I mean he's standing on the wrong side of the history. You and me, we are on the right side, Naruto. Tell me what you want and I will deliver because I know what you want is something that I want as well. And that is destruction of Konoha Gakuren Sato. Said Naruto, finishing his sentence for him as his eyes which are flashing blue turned red again. So be it. I will miss him. But then again, we are a bunch of scientists who can recreate him. If he wishes to die with them, let him. as after that preparations was done and within 6 months a huge amount of army was being launched towards konoha all being controlled by orochimaru as he too have some cybernetic parts installed inside of him all thanks to naruto as apollo who was still in comatose state finally woke up that day as he saw himself in the rubble of every bear as his bed was being tracked into the center by a person he could couldn't see any because of his blurry vision he's waking up said a voice as water was being fed to him as he properly stood up due to lack of motion for the past years he couldn't move anything not naruto is that you ah father you're finally awake what do you think of what we have done what have you done destroyed this place 
I told you that I will destroy them. And that is something that I delivered. Oh no, Naruto, what have you done? What have you done? As after that, Apollo felt a huge pain in his chest because of all the regret that he was facing. Seeing his friend dead, everyone dead, he died due to a heart attack there. As Orochimaru began to remain silent until he began to chuckle. Ah, poor boy. You still were an idiot to the end, huh, Nord Apollo? As that is when, after hearing these words, Apollo, about Apollo, Naruto, well, become enraged and killed Orochimaru after ripping him to shreds as his eyes then turned towards the dead body of his father figure. What have I done? He looked towards everywhere. Before he deactivated everything, who was sh literally ripping through shinobis as he disappeared as well. Never to be heard and seen again. With the image only in his mind and memory stored all throughout those years. The image of the dead Apollo. As he finally landed in front of the lab again in which they were left from. Looking through himself, he found a QB there was marking at him. It was you. You made me do this. No. I only showed you the way. You did this by yourself. I will find a way. I will find a way to bring them back. This is the reality, kid. No matter how much you try, there is no way to bring them back. You just have to live with your con consequences of the actions that you have committed. You have to live the rest of your life with the hatred that you must carry now as well as the guilt of killing your own father, as well as all the civilians and innocent kids. I will not. I will find a way. As after that, 10 years passed as the shinobi world was looking for the most dangerous outlaw ever, Naruto Uzumaki. As in Konoha, the fourth Hokage, alongside his, well, Brother and his wife was buried, as well as Hiruzen Sarutobi and many other civilians, as Menma Uzumaki Namikaze was the next Kage, and with rage was looking for his mechanical brother, who has been on the run. He has vowed to put an end to his, well, mind and let the Shinobi world finally rest in ease. As ten years later, they were able to locate him in his lab, which was quite far away. As we see Mito and Menma standing there with Onbus, so you finally found me. Obviously we had to. You're gonna go down, Naruto. I'd rather you go down easy and we don't have to do this. For all the pain you have caused. I wish I could, as they all got intense and into a battle stance, as they saw many machines approaching them. As suddenly a force field appeared as well. What are you doing now? Haven't you done enough? You killed our parents! And not only that, you killed a person you claim to be your father. You wanna die, die alongside us? Kill all of us now with all these things that you have? No. I'm gonna go back and repair everything. As after that, uh, Naruto went back into the time machine. And with the help of the time, he went all the way where he was agreeing to Orochimaru to attack. Until there, he killed Orochimaru as he saw his boss self. What are you doing here? As... With his new vision, he was able to display everything that has transpired, and Naruto of the past was shocked. But you raised yourself from the time by coming here. So be it. I don't want to exist, and neither does the time has to. You have been saved. Now leave, and go to your father, because he will be awakened soon. As after that, Naruto did disappear and arrived back to Konoha. People were still afraid, even his own parents were, and he didn't look at them. Don't worry, I will not harm you. But that doesn't mean that I have forgiven you. I'm only here for my father. But you hurted him, said Manma, and I regret doing so. I was enraged. I didn't know what to do at the time, and I wrecked my actions. As after that, he felt a hand on his shoulder. As he looked to see it was Apollo, I'm proud of you, son. You're finally back. <laughs> yeah, obviously, old man, I had to. Who's gonna take care of you now? Me. <laughs> That's who. Yeah, yeah, you idiot. I know. As after that, 
time passed. And let's just say Konoha lived a peaceful life after that. No catastrophic events ever happened and yeah, Naruto lived with his family. With the people he considered to be his family. Uh, this is where I'm going to be leaving the story of guys. I hope you like this one and if you do then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you like the content of this channel as this is Apollo Uchiha and now I'm signing off for the day.